Hi, welcome to Rotary Vice Techniques Part 6. I'm Raj Kletke and today we'll be wrapping heckle and working with dry fly wings. Commonly, I do not use rotary function when winding a hackle. However, if I want a bushy hackle at the front of the fly, I will use my right middle finger as the bobbin cradle and then wind the hackle on the shank using the rotary function without having to worry about the twist that develops in a hackle if you're winding hackle without rotary function. I could tie off at this point, but if I want a bushier head, I simply wiggle the hackle back and forth while continuing the rotary function. When possible, I try to put dry fly wings on after I've used the rotary vice function to put the body in place. However, if necessary, tie in the wing first. Don't post it up until after the body materials are in place. Once you decide to post up the wing, put the bridge in front in the usual fashion, and then I find it easier to put in the thread around the base of the post by using the rotary vise to turn the wing facing down. I usually try to put a minimum of 10 wraps, which firms up the base of the post and makes the diameter of the base of the post a little larger, which allows more hackle fibers per turn. The hackle, I strip the base fibers from and tie it in front of the post, bringing the thread then tight to the post. I like my hackle fibers to start at the upper end of the threaded base. Again, I like turning it upside down because I think that's much easier that way. And once I've brought the hackle up to the start of the base of the post, I move my thread forward, keeping it close to the post before winding the hackle. The hackle now starts at the base of the post. Each successive wind is below the previous wind until I have as many winds as I want or I am at the base. I then use the thread to tie the hackle off on the post, being careful not to catch excess fibers. Once that is tied off, I can bring my thread forward to tie it off at the eye in the usual fashion. <clears throat> Either before or after tying off the thread, I clip the excess hackle and then tie my thread off. <clears throat> In this case, I'm using half hitches for demonstration purposes, although commonly I use the whip finisher. Once I have my thread clipped, I need to cut the length of the post. Again, I find this easier by using the rotary vise to place the wing pointing down and then clip it to the length that I want and trim for any particular shape. Now that we have these techniques, let's tie one of my favorite dry flies. This fly is called a quad because it has four supposed triggers. It has a posted wing height, a prominent thorax, a segmented body, and a shuck. The shuck I'll be tying in now. The shuck is much thicker than I would normally use, but you can see it better on this video, so I'm tying in a thick shuck. I'll tie that in in the usual fashion, pulling it into position and getting my thread positioned at the 
bend of the hook where I want to tie in the body material. At that point, I will cut off the shuck approximately the same as the body length. I'll then obtain a bias for the body material. Incidentally, the colors that I've chosen for this fly are to show up well on the video and are not necessarily representative of any quad that I would normally tie. I put the bias from the left wing on the near side of the hook with the ridge facing the hook, the thick part of the bias at the top, thin part at the bottom. I again pull the bias towards me and then raise it in a vertical position which gives the ridge facing me and using my middle finger as the bobbin cradle wind the bias on as shown previously. If my thread is a little too far forward, I simply back it off a few turns and then tie in the bias. Once the bias is in, I can add wing material since I'm using macrame polypropylene yarn. It has very little hump associated with the tie-in point and so I can put the wing on after I put on the body material. This makes it much easier to use the rotary vise. I put the wing on, leaving the wing longer than what I'll ultimately want, cut off the base, and post up the wing as we've shown before. Again, I feel that turning the fly so it's upside down using the rotary vise makes winding the post much easier. Once I have that wound, I will add the hackle. Again, I strip some fibers from the stem of the hackle and measure it so that the fibers of the hackle will actually start at the top of my base. I then tie it in in front of the hook getting my thread tight to the base of the post. Again, turn the fly upside down and wind my hackle up to the top, which is currently the bottom of the base. After that, I bring the thread forward and now I want to hide all of this tie-in material and put in the prominent thorax that is part of the quad. I wind the dubbing on in the usual fashion. And while I could use the rotary vise with full rotation, I use the rotary vise only partially to expose the base of the fly or the bottom of the fly so I can be sure that the fish will be seeing a prominent thorax. After that I put the fly back upright, keep my thread on my side of the hook but very close to the base of the post and wind in my hackle. Usually I'll only wind five to six turns here I'm winding a little heavy so you can see it on the video. You have obviously wound too much if you start flaring your fibers. I tie the hackle off at the post and then tie the thread off at the eye of the hook. Again, usually I use a whip finish, but I'm going to use soft I'm sorry, going to use half hitches here just for demonstration purposes, but either is fine. Once the head is tied off, I clip the thread. Turn the fly towards me so I can clip off the excess hackle without clipping the hackle fibers. 
redistribute the hackle fibers as needed, and then once again put the fly upside down using the rotary vise to trim the wing to the height and shape that I want. And that's the finished quad. In the next video, Rotary Vice Techniques Part 7, I'll have a few closing remarks and then we'll show you a tool that my friends hardly ever use, but I consider it essential to the way I tie flies. See you soon.